your life. But you know, there's people who just, they, you know, these, these people who, and it's always amazing to me. I'm, I've always been afraid of a computer. I still am. It just took me a while to understand you have what's called pop-ups. You know what I'm talking about. I've got a, I buy a program every year put on my computer so they can't put things on my computer that I don't want. That things can't pop up there. Wicked things, ungodly things. But it just took, it's hard for me to understand that there are people out there who put it, are putting things uh, online to try to get evil and wickedness into the, uh, in front of people. I don't understand people who just want to sit there and pour out evil on other people. That's wickedness. There are people who are merchants of evil. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're just, I don't know if they make any money by it. I don't even care. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be around it. But they are merchants of evil. The light that's in their body is darkness. And unless they come to Christ, they're going to hell. Porno dealers. So many people into pornography. What's that movie? What's that movie? What is it? How many of you have seen that? Man, I don't recommend many movies. I, you know me. I, I just run from them things, but I don't recommend. Listen, you ought to see that movie. I just almost shouted when that guy took that computer out and took it out there and took a ball bat to it. Woo, man! That's good stuff. Because I'm going to tell you what, there's so much evil being put into, and I know there's good stuff. But I'll tell you why I pulled the plug on my, my TV. And I, I tell you, I watch a good, you know, I've told you over and over, I like a good Western, man. I like a good, clean Western movie. It's got to be squeaky clean. I like a good, clean Western movie. I like to see them bad guys get shot. It just tickles me to death. But I know it's make-believe. But I like to see good come out on top. Amen? But you know, this the reason I pulled the plug on my TV, I tried, I tried to control it. I did my best. I, I said to myself, you know, there's a few things I like to watch. I like a cardinal ball game. Sorry for you Cub fans, that's okay. But I like a Cardinal ball game. I love to see the Cardinals beat the Cubs. Whoop, man, that's good. I shut it off when the Cubs win. <laughs> but in honesty, I tried to watch what, I, what was good and clean, but they kept throwing stuff in between. Commercials is what they call them. Ungodly stuff. I wore, about wore out my, I call them a clicker. I about wore out my clicker, shutting it off. Some people, you know, and what they do is just wear you down, you know. They just wear you down because after a while you get, oh, well, you know, it's going to be there. I might as well watch it. No. No. That's the way Satan tempts people. Have you noticed even, even food chains use women, undressed women, ugly commercials, and I, I just that's the best word I can give them, ugly commercials to try to promote food. That's a devil, that's what that is. But you see, that's what the devil wants. He wants us to make those choices that God doesn't want us to make. We live in a world that's full of evil, folks. And you're going to have to adjust. You're going to have to make some decisions about television. Now, I know you get up and tell people, get rid of their television. Man, people run from that church. Oh, a bunch of holy rollers. Oh, my goodness. Not going down there. Well, I hadn't told you to get rid of your TV. I said you're going to have to make some decisions about what you're going to see. What God wants you to look at.
And it's not just TV, folks. It's books that we read. It's books we let our children read. It's these, these, and I won't even get on. I don't even know very much about these, these, uh, these, uh, what do you call them? TV games? What do you call them? Video games? I've never got close enough to them to learn enough about them. Oh, except I know is I hate them. They're leading people, in, they're leading young kids into sin. Now, I know there, there's, maybe there's some good things there in those things and they teach them coordination and pilots and all that stuff. I understand about, a little bit about that. Don't stand there and hold about it. But I do know there's evil on those things that's causing young people to turn their lives over to the devil. How important it is. There are merchants of wickedness. The light that is in their body is darkness. And Jesus said, Jesus said that light has become darkness. We need to pray for them. We need to witness to them because they still get saved. They can come out of the darkness. They can get saved and God can turn their life around. Praise God. That's, that's what we need in this country is revival. But you know, we need to make the right choices. It's dangerous to choose to reject Jesus Christ. I heard a woman on the radio some years ago. She was trying to warn parents to be involved with their kids. And she was trying to tell people her, her circumstance, her, her son had committed suicide. She came home one day and found him. And, and she didn't realize he had gotten into a Satan worship. And it's out there. And it's closer to you and I than you think. But her son had gotten involved in, and she didn't realize it until he was involved in it. She did her best. Once she found out about it, she did her best to convince him to come out of that stuff. She did her best to get him away from that stuff. But by the time she found out he was in it, it was too late for her to change his mind. She was trying to tell people, know what your kids are doing. That's some of the best advice you'll ever get from anywhere. But here was a lady who was weeping on the radio and trying to tell people that life is about choices. Help your kids to make the right choices. Folks, I'm going to tell you what, before we can help our kids make the right choices, we have to make the right choices. There are so many parents out there, so many parents out there that don't teach their children what is right and what is wrong according to the Word of God. There are so many ch parents out there who, who never sit down and pray with their kids. So many parents who never sat down with Johnny or Sally and say, look, I love you, I care about you, but some of the friends you've got are leading you down the wrong road, some of the things that you're doing, and I can't let you do that no matter, even if you come to the place you hate me, I can't let you do those things. It takes tough love sometimes. you got to do it in love. you got to love your kids, and they got to know you love them you got to make some tough choices sometimes. But before you can teach those children, you have to make the right choice yourself. Jesus Christ came and he died on the cross to help people make the right choices. God's will is that none should perish. Not, God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God wants every man, woman, boy, and girl in the world tonight to be saved. I really believe that with all my heart. God wants young people to get saved so he can help them make the right choice. God wants merchants of sin to get saved so they can come out of the, the clutches of the devil and he can help them. And I've read testimonies of people who were merchants of sin who came out of sin and accepted Christ as their Savior and Jesus turned their life around. But it's about making that choice, isn't it? It's about saying yes to God and saying no to the devil. You see, it's about saying, I want to do right. Do you want to do right tonight? You say, Preacher, I want to, but I don't know how to do it. Let me tell you, you can't do it on your own. 
I can't do it by my own strength. You can't do it by your own strength. But you've got to have a want to. 